If you were going to be a community manager for your favorite gaming community, think about your community of gamers. And guess what? Imagine if you were going to be giving them a new game mode. Here's the question. How would you unveil that new game mode in a bad way? Would you, for example, remove another mode that is beloved to put in this new untested mode? Would you perhaps do it without telling any of the gamers that it was going to happen so that they just load in one day and find that their favorite mode is gone? This has been a practice in what is known as the inversion technique, where you think about the thing in the opposite way, how to do it wrong, and then don't do that thing. Warzone recently released a massive team deathmatch Warzone rumble mode where it removed the beloved game type plunder and they did it without telling anybody. So that if you were like me, you loaded in and suddenly your favorite mode is now removed from the game and something new has replaced it. Perhaps Activision was totally aware of how this would upset players and they just needed to do it for some development reason or some marketing promise or something. But unfortunately, it was not a very good execution and it made a lot of players upset, wondering when Plunder would come back. Let's talk about this from a community management perspective about why this happened. So in the first place, it's really good to have cycling game types, because one of the things is, especially if you have a free-to-play and a paid version of a game, having some of the paid game modes shared with the free-to-play people allows them to think, ooh, maybe if I paid, I could enjoy this game mode too. So it's a really effective way to bring free-to-play players into paying. It allows you to test new game modes where you wouldn't normally have as big of an audience, but now you can have an even bigger audience because you got free to play players, you got paid players, and all of them are gonna be messing around with each other, which allows you to see if this mode has any legs to it or if you would have to tinker with it differently. It keeps things fresh for your entire player base as they have new meta changing strategies and new ideas and get to discover favorite styles of play in each one of these new modes. Team Deathmatch is very different from Plunder and it's very different from Warzone Battle Royale. So what happens when you unveil a new mode like this incorrectly? Well, for one, it creates this whiplash effect where a player loads into Plunder and realizes it's not there anymore, so they leave to go online, checking Twitter, checking Facebook, whatever, to discover that Plunder is not there anymore and other players are upset, and so now they will tell you angrily that they want their game back. That causes this sort of whiplash effect that is upsetting for many players. So the Plunder audience was there to play Plunder, but there is no game substitute for Plunder. I mean, if I had Battle Royale angst because Solo was gone, I could still load up into quads as a single player, but now there's just no Plunder options. So this encourages me as a player to look for other games that have that sort of Plunder itch that I'm looking for. I personally try to load up Fortnite to see if they had any of those level style Battle Royales because I love that. I love the elimination type where you get to come back. But alas, I didn't find it, but what if I did, I might have found my next favorite game that's not Plunder. And related to that point, it's harder as a player to trust Activision to keep your favorite game modes, because if they're just going to take them away without telling anyone, well then the next time you load up with your friends or on your own, now you don't have what you're excited for, which is another way to push players off to look for a different game that they can trust to have consistent enjoyment from. So let's say as a community manager, you had to have Plunder come out and had to put in this new game mode. How could you have told players in a way that would have made them less angry? Well, for one, you could have brought it up as if they were getting something really cool. Hey everyone, a new game mode is coming. They said it was under control. Well, it bloody isn't. Aren't you excited? We're gonna remove Plunder for a bit, but it'll come back on this date, and then you can tell us about what you thought was cool and not cool about this new game mode. That is awesome. That will get players excited about the new thing, and the players who are upset about losing Plunder can plan to avoid playing Plunder during those times. And it allows those players who are excited about this to sort of defend and provide some more positive sentiment. Another way you could do this is have a calendar, so you can inform players that on the 17th of every month, is when you switch out and cycle plunder for some other game type. This way, players can plan for these changes and you won't have to have the surprise whiplash effect occur for each time. The best way to get this communication to players is in-game. In every Warzone loadup, there are loading screens with messages. Every time you start Warzone, there is a patch notes message that you get to see. There are other messages and opportunities, even little things in the corner that says, hey, 
check out this new bit of information that we have. Luckily, Warzone is full of places that players can be told about new game types coming and if there's any changes. All right, so let's pretend that as a gaming community manager, you had the opportunity to use some of the developer resources. Basically, you could go back to the company and say, hey, we're gonna put in this new game mode, love it, can't wait, but we're removing plunder for it. Could I have some time to make a separate special thing to make it so we don't have to remove plunder? And they say, yes, sick. What does it look like? Cycling game types. You can see these in Destiny 2, you can see these in Overwatch. Basically, they're these side modes that you can do that are not main game. And they cycle every couple weeks with new game types to experiment as we talked about above. This is fantastic. Players know that they will not lose their favorite things, and they know that anything that shows up in these cycling game types are going to eventually go away. So it minimizes the whiplash, it gets players excited, and if they don't like a certain game mode, they know that it will circle away and they have those other main things to play. Now in the meantime, Activision has responded to this, and in fact, right when this occurred, they correctly acted and said on the 18th of June, we're going to return plunder. That was a fantastic response. It shows that they're willing to listen to players, and that really goes a long way in sort of smoothing over these bumpy experiences. One of the things I really liked about how they did this too is you can tell they actually put in the development work to keep plunder and the new game mode. You can look at the UI where you see it's a little squished, almost like a little ugly in a way, but I don't fault them at all for that because that was a fantastic opportunity to give players more gameplay at the expense of a clean UI. Thank you for doing that Activision, that was very clever and it was very good of you to react in that way because now players have plunder and they can try out the new Warzone Rumble. So as community managers and aspiring game community managers, what can we learn from this experience? Cycling games is totally cool, and you should cycle game types. It's a great way to test things, and it's a great way to have your players get excited about new stuff. Early communication is really helpful in bad news, especially if you can find a way to give players something at the same time that's being replaced. So rather than them feeling like they lose something, they at least get to try something new, and you let them know when the thing that they really liked is coming back. If you can get some dev work involved in this, it is amazing. Activision got some developer work in order to make that plunder mode fit with the Warzone Rumble, and that was a fantastic choice of them, and so applauding them on a fast reaction time to this uh, communication. If there are other game announcements or things that you think are interesting or want to hear a community manager's opinion on, let me know down below. Happy to talk about them.